on episode 9 right here, right now. So, overall, this is actually a pretty fantastic fucking episode, mainly because we actually got to learn a little bit more about the host or the aliens or whatever the heck you want to really call it. Uh, now, a couple of things that really went down in this episode, and a basic plot was that Will was trying to get his family pretty much out, you know, give them some safe haven, right? So, some things that really went down here that I really didn't enjoy, or just in general, was uh, at the very beginning, right? The first opening scene was kind of like the anniversary of the arrival. And then we see all these kind of like uh, red hats, as they call them, pretty much, uh, kind of like attacking the people and just kind of like laying down some law and order. And then eventually we kind of go to like, um, you know, Will and Snyder, whatever, he kind of talks about how they found these tunnels, right? And these tunnels, obviously, are kind of already has been explored, and Will kind of says that, you know, we found these tunnels, somebody's trying to, like, make you look bad, you know, obviously because you're under review, and then that kind of goes, uh, you know, not well with Snyder, so he sends the two to check out these tunnels. Little does Will know that he doesn't, he thinks that there's really nobody there, but obviously, you know, Bram, his own son, is pretty much uh, exploring these goddamn tunnels. So we get to see a little bit outside of the walls, for the most part. Uh, but not, not much. Uh, a couple other things that we actually really, uh, or I, I actually did enjoy was, um, particularly the fact that we actually did get to get a little bit of information about the host, right? Apparently they like art. Now, if you've seen when Snyder was kind of like going to Nolan's house, right? Uh, he pretty much says, you know, you know, this looks like the type of art that our host would admire or whatever he says pretty much. But that was kind of a very small detail to the point where you realize, okay, so apparently, uh, the host or aliens, whatever you want to call it, they're big fans of art. So I'm starting to wonder, where are these aliens living at? Are they are they still up there? Because if they're not on Earth particularly, and we don't necessarily see them, they must be somewhere inhabiting it. Because I don't think they're on the outside walls or whatever, but who knows? Maybe maybe they're underneath ground, uh, under the ground, or whatever it may be. But uh, apparently it has to be somewhere to keep a close eye on uh, pretty much everybody else. But yeah, also for Nolan, he did, I don't know if it's me, but didn't he come off cross like, just like a big old putz to the point where he just seemed a little bit clueless and kind of dumb. He constantly kept on saying that, you know, uh, you know, I had no idea, you know, I had no idea. Um, even when his wife was getting arrested, I was just like, dude, you seem like the most clueless person in the fucking world. Uh, another uh, thing that kind of happened in this episode was that it seemed like Katie started to finally kind of get into the full uh, resistance mode to the point where it's just like, okay, this is actually starting to get a little bit interesting. To the point where she kind of meets, uh, you know, I, I forgot his name, the black guy, whatever, right? Uh, and they kind of see the new resistance kind of forming. And the thing about this episode was that I feel like the new resistance in this episode, and it was nice to see Thor Birch once again. You know, I haven't seen her since, what, Ghost World or something? But um, in the new resistance, I was just like, okay, this is actually kind of cool. I feel like they did more in this episode, and they made more of an impact with the new, uh, I forgot, and once again, I forgot his name, but the black guy as, the, like, the leader of sorts of the resistance. I feel like they did more here than they did with the previous leader, in my opinion, as a resistance. I feel like they finally made a damper uh, with their cause. Uh, also, the Will and Katie uh, confrontation, right? When they kind of are like arguing at each other, and like Will finally tells her that he knows that you've been lying. That was actually a very good scene to the point where I was just like, you know what? I feel like Sarah Wayne uh, Achilles, whatever her name is, uh, she finally fucking brought it. You know, there was some little thing off there, but I, I believe that thing uh, to the most part. We also realized that, you know, Gracie's pretty much being brainwashed by the babysitter. That was pretty much kind of obvious to the point where I was just like, that babysitter always gave me a weird vibe. Uh, you know, uh, Bram kind of tells, uh, you know, uh, his mother pretty much that, you know, I'm not, you know, Katie's, I'm a Gracie's, uh, you know, uh, uh, parent or whatever you two are. And that's a good point. I feel like for parents, they really don't watch their kid, and I was just like, you know, he's actually in the right here, but then again, once again, everybody's just kind of like lying, Will, uh, is trying to get everybody out, right, through the tunnels, give them some safe haven, but obviously, Katie has loyalties to the resistance, she's trying to do a cause, so she's kind of like backlashing it to kind of make this confrontation, so therefore, they kind of both back up, when he says, uh, when Will does say, uh, you know, and you thought my cause was crazy, or whatever, um, I actually had to laugh, because I thought that was pretty funny. Now, at the end of the episode, though, right, and somebody's trying to set up Snyder to make him look bad, right, but at the end of the episode, when the Resistance kind of blow up the fucking train, um, that goes, uh, obviously completely wrong, because you can't really, uh, apparently, they're not very well with pyrotechnics or whatever, maybe explosions, so they eventually check, it, and then there's a big explosion, and then we see a very small glimpse of, uh, like, this robot-looking thing on this alien with, like, three fingers, and he has, like, a, you know, a helmet or whatever may be on and I'm just like, okay, so I'm guessing that's a shot of the host or whatever it may be, but that definitely is something that we haven't seen before. Uh, and I did enjoy that uh, train attack, even though it did look like Katie was kind of playing dress-up for me personally. And also, I did think it was kind of funny that um, the guy that she was with, when they killed one of the black guards, and the guard was like saying, you know, is everything okay? They just pick up the thing and it's just like, yeah, everything, we're, we're all clear here. And I was just like, does all the black people sound the same to the one where they didn't realize anything was wrong? 
Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, but yeah, that was the main thing, how it kind of ended. They kind of found out about uh, the host. We saw a small glimpse that that was the host. Uh, but who knows? We'll find out in the season finale, most likely. But that's my review. Comment, subscribe, and like if you actually enjoyed this. I'm Chris Smith, and I'm signing out.